Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to be conducting a video benchmark review utilizing ATI's Crossfire X platform versus NVIDIA's 3-Way SLI. Now as you guys are aware, both platforms recently released new drivers, namely ATI's Catalyst 8.10 and NVIDIA's GeForce 180.43 beta drivers. So we're going to be loading those up in the Beastmaster Skull Trail and seeing exactly which system is king. For this task, we're using the Intel Skulltrail platform. The Skulltrail motherboard is both ATI Crossfire X and NVIDIA SLI compatible. So this makes for the perfect level playing field for both graphics systems. Also for the test, we're running two separate cooling loops provided by the Zelman Resurator XTs you see on the left. One loop cools the two overclock QX9775 quad-core extreme CPUs and the second cools the graphics cards we're benchmarking today. In the middle you notice our watt meter that's actually a battery backup system providing our energy consumption. The benchmark we're running today is 3 Mark Vantage. This benchmark is fair, quickly becoming the industry standard as well as producing very accurate and consistent results. Here is the Crossfire X configuration. What you're looking at here is two HD4870 X2 graphics cards. They're the Sapphire brand, but they're liquid cooled with Coolance VID487 X2 water blocks. Combining these water blocks with the 487 X2s makes for an absolute explosive recipe. Let's see what damage can be done. Whoa, look at the energy consumption here. This is the 4870X2s and they're peaking at like 879 watts. Awesome, unbelievable. For the first benchmark, we're going to be running stock clock settings. That's 750 MHz GPU, 900 on the memory, as well as Crossfire enabled. Let's see what that gives us. Whoa, 21,950 3D Mark points or 20,526 GPU scores. Let's overclock and let's see what we get. A GPU clock of 800 MHz and the memory of 955. Also, let's verify Crossfire enabled. Whoa, 22,388 3D Mark points and a GPU score of 21,022 GPU points. Unbelievable. Loaded up in the three-way SLI configuration today, we have three EVGA GTX 280 cards mounted in three-way SLI. These cards are liquid-cooled with the Coolance VID 428 water blocks. Once again, this makes for a phenomenal absolutely phenomenal piece of equipment. Those water blocks keep those cards anything between 40 to 50 degrees C. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Look at the energy consumption on these cards. These three GTX 280s in SLI averaging 860 to 870 watts. The little flashing icon you see there, that's the overload symbol on the battery backup. Let's check these cards out on stock clock settings with a GPU of 602 linked shader. Whoa, 22,266 3D Mark scores, although the GPU score is less than the ATI cards at 18,750. Let's overclock these cards to 738 MHz linked shader with a 1209 memory overclock. Let's see what we get. Wowzers, 24,503 3D marks. Look at that, the GPU score is still less than the ATI card, but look at the CPU score, 53,000. Whoa, 
wow, I just would not have predicted those results going into this benchmark. It appears the battle between ATI and NVIDIA is getting ever and ever closer. Those ATI Catalyst 8.10 drivers increased the GPU score by nearly 1,500 points over previous benchmarks. Absolutely fantastic stuff. On the flip side of things, the NVIDIA physics engine took the Skulltrail CPU score to 53,000 CPU score points. Absolutely phenomenal. Both systems are fantastic in their own right. Ultimately though, which one won the benchmark? GPU scores, ATI wiped the floor. Total scores thanks to the physics engine, NVIDIA for the win. However, is the physics engine really legal? Is it cheating? Who knows? If it's not cheating, why can't I post my scores officially to the 3D Mark Vantage website? Hmm, so who won? I think I'll let you guys decide. Feel free to post your comments, tell the world, tell me. Let us know who you think won this benchmark. Once again, I'd like to thank you guys who post comments and rate these videos, especially my subscribers. And don't forget, if you enjoy watching these videos, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again and take care.